I need your vote. I need your help. Walk with me to a better future. Let's take back America and keep it the hope of the earth and renew the American dream. Thank you so very much. Thank you. That was Governor Romney wrapping up his speech in Cleveland. At the same time, we're getting a bold prediction from one election expert suggesting Governor Romney will win the White House on Tuesday by a landslide. Michael Barone is a senior political analyst for the Washington Examiner and a Fox News contributor. Michael, good to see you. Uh, this, you know, you, you, you say you're going out on a risk, going out on a limb, I should say. But you say basically Romney's going to win every single swing state except for a couple. I mean, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Iowa, New Hampshire, Colorado. You give them all to Romney. How do you get there? Well, uh, Megan, basically, I start off with uh, what we've been learning from national polls throughout the campaign. They're right now showing uh, basically an even race. Uh, they're also showing greater enthusiasm by all indicators among Republicans uh, about voting than Democrats. Uh, we've seen that in the early voting statistics. That suggests that we're not going to see the Democratic Party identification advantage of 39 32 that we saw in the 2008 exit poll. Uh, I'm also taking a look at the fact that. Uh, uh, independents have mostly, not in all, as you pointed out, but I mean, most uh, polls have been uh, in nationally and in states have been favoring Mitt Romney. Uh, and I think from that point of view, it's, it's quite plausible to see Mitt Romney winning many of these close states that seem to be very close in the polls or where there are factors that uh, I think have come into play as the campaign goes on uh, that could produce some surprise results. So they certainly would have been a surprise to any of us a month ago uh, in some states. How do you get to Mitt Romney wins Pennsylvania? Now I know we, we started the show by saying there's a show there's a, tie, a poll today showing them tied there, but still pretty bold to say he's going to win Pennsylvania. That's right, and there's another poll showing him down three points, so uh, the polls are showing a close race. Pennsylvania hasn't been thoroughly polled. It hasn't been worked nearly as hard by the Obama campaign. But it campaign. hasn't gone for a Republican since 88. Well, it was only three points more for Obama and three points less for McCain in 2008, uh, but they haven't had that kind of barrage, huge barrage of anti-Romney ads that voters in Ohio have seen. Uh, also, the economic interests are different. In Ohio, the auto bailout is clearly an issue that has hurt Mitt Romney. In Pennsylvania, the big economic issues in western and central Pennsylvania are coal and shale natural gas. On those issues, Mitt Romney's been running a very effective ad on coal. Uh, that area, McCain actually did pretty well in, but there was depressed turnout. I expect it to be higher. And also, there's clearly a trend towards Romney in affluent suburbs, which means Bucks, Chester, Delaware, Montgomery counties outside Philadelphia are unlikely to give uh, Obama the kind of margin that he got four years ago when he carried 57 percent in the four counties. Now I got to ask you about I got to ask you about Ohio. I mean there's been only one poll a Rasmussen poll a couple weeks ago that showed Romney leading there. Every other poll has shown him behind. How do you give Ohio to Romney confidently? Uh, well, I, I, I'm not sure how confident I am. I'm 100 percent <laughs> confident to make about a call, it. But you're giving it to no, him, when you're making when you're making predictions in close states, you can't be absolutely confident you're going to be correct. And I said in my article, I'm fully aware that I may be wrong in some states. But I think that's something where enthusiasm may make a difference. We know that Romney is not running as well with white non-college voters as he is in many other states. Uh, but there's also something that we saw in the 2004 election that I saw at Fox News as the election returns are coming in, and that is increased turnout in among small town, rural voters, evangelical Protestants uh, that won that state for, uh, for George W. Bush, even though John Kerry got his uh, margins that he wanted out of the big central cities and out of the university and college towns. Uh, I think that that's a factor that hasn't been studied much by reporters, but a lot of people have been active on the ground, and that crowd of the fire marshal estimated 30,000 in Westchester, Ohio, mm -hmm. Friday was a pretty good indicator of uh, strong enthusiasm. Barack Obama in Mentor, Ohio, drew fewer people in an auditorium there, an inside venue, than John McCain drew in the same venue four years ago. Okay. I want to ask you big picture, because Charlie Cook, uh, he's saying it's a really tough road for Mitt Romney to get to 270 on that electoral map. And uh, Sabato says there's a lot of toss-ups out there. And then you got Paul Krugman, now he's a liberal with the New York Times, but he comes out and says the state polling currently points overwhelmingly to an, an Obama victory. And anybody who suggests that Romney's got a real shot here is stupid. Uh, and reporters who say that are, are lazy and doing a disservice. 
Well, I'm not going to get into an insult contest with Paul Krugman because there's no way you can win that. Uh, but what I would say is there is, and say so as a recovering pollster, I worked for the Democratic pollster Peter Hart in 74 to 81, is that polling is, there's some indication that, that there's some weaknesses in these state polls. They're getting party identification factors in states better for the Democrats than 2008, which seems unlikely. Polling has been degraded somewhat because polling procedures were built up in a nation uh, where we have uh, universal landline telephones and a population that answers the phone. Mm -hmm. We no longer live in such a nation. And the pollsters, both parties and the nonpartisan pollsters like Pew Research Center are concerned. Pew has only completed, got completed interviews on 9% of the calls it initiated in 2011. Yeah. That's Most compared to 36% in 97. Most people don't pick up the phone. Is that 9% yep, represent representative? We don't know. We're seconds away from a hard break, but fascinating stuff.